Yo, what's up? It's your boy Zach, Super Judas, Six Time Champion World. I'm giving a big shout out to my home team, Heavy Back TV. You heard? Keep it live. You do. <laughs> crazy work. Yo, that's crazy work. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxing TV. Man, if you don't get your goofy ass in here and hit the bag, if you catch me for the first time, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure it's black so when I drop, take a second, come hang out with y'all. Boy. Big facts. All right, man, something funny going on. Something fishy, funny. I don't know what's going on, but it looked like Terrence Crawford could be uh, winning the tug of war over this Sebastian Fundor fight, right? Now, um, every time I'm hearing news about Earl Spence, of course, he's linked to Sebastian Fundor. Somehow, some way, some dia diabolical way. Now, that's diabolical. Earl Spence is ranked number one for the WBC at 154 pounds. Stop the cap. How, Sway? Stop the cap. How? He hasn't had a fight at 54. He ain't done nothing at 54 as of late. Or as what kind of recent, bullshit is right? this? Uh, but his name's been linked to Sebastian Fondor. We've had a lot of rumors. Uh, some even was called official that they were in negotiations and had come to an agreement, Earl Spencer, Sebastian Fondor, to fight, of course, in Texas for uh, Sebastian's WBO, WBC, right? Now, there's no secret, of course, that uh, Bud Crawford, now the WBO in the room, uh, the WBO ordered that fight for the WBO, Sebastian Fondor turns Bud Crawford. But it appears that the WBO have now officially granted a 10 day extension for Terrence Crawford versus Sebastian Fundora negotiations. Right. So in my mind, I was already, I thought Fundora had made up his mind uh, that he would be fighting um, Earl Spence. He did say he, he didn't mind fighting Earl Spence, but he did want to fight Terrence Crawford. That was his initial Thoughts that he articulated to us that he wanted to fight, but right. Big Great facts. idea to fight Spence, but he really wanted to fight. But and it appears that that is exactly what just might happen. Uh, that unification trumps everything at the end of the day. Uh, and listen, would you want to fight Earl Spence or the man that beat Earl Spence? Right. Um, so. Uh, but Crawford. Again, looks like he's winning this tug of war battle with Earl Spence for this Fundora fight. So, uh, obviously, in order for the WBO to officially grant a 10 day extension, that means Sebastian Fundora and his team had to ask for permission. Right. So, if they're asking for permission and it is granted, that means that they're seriously, uh, um, uh, trying to make this, in my opinion, make this Bud Crawford fight happen. Big Definitely want to know y'all's thoughts, man. Hopefully, they can get it done. Listen, man, uh, unfortunately for Earl Spence, Bud, the Bud train is moving a little bit faster at 54. It is what it is. He's a champion at 54. He's at, He has an interim belt at 54. And now, um, he's been had a fight ordered with Sebastian Fundor. It just makes more sense for that fight to happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. every bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.